En este canal hemos hablado muchas veces acerca de cultura española, lo raro, o ah. lo extraño. En España no se baña lo que les encanta a los extranjeros pero en el vídeo de hoy te traigo un tema muy salseante y es que vamos a hablar de la cultura de citas de amor e incluso de sexo en España en comparación con otros países vamos allá Hola, mi nombre es Harry y soy de UK. Hola, mi nombre es Claudia y soy de España. Bonjour, je m'appelle Soledad y yo soy francesa. Hola, soy Elena de Deutschland. La primera cita. En el UK, la gente usualmente se usually meet just naturally, mm -hmm. like through their work o their friends o algo así. Pero creo que hoy en día la mayoría de las personas se meten online o por la En España. Right now, I think it's the same. We meet other people through app, like dating mm -hmm. app. Also, it's so common on discotheque, like in a pub or in a club. Mm -hmm. Like you go to a club, you go dancing, and you can right. just meet random people, and you just go out, smoke or something, and then randomly you just kiss or start something. Oh, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> so <randomly>. Yeah, <laughs> like it's naturally as well, yeah. but you don't force it. Like mm -hmm. I think people is not just waiting for okay I have to date someone they just meet slowly and they mm -hmm. just check and it can be friends or not but usually it's not like a close friend or like oh my friend introduced me this guy and I just fall in love it's not mm -hmm. like that because you usually know the friends of your friends and mm -hmm. your friends are the same friends so it's like it's not normal I think in friends it's also really sim similar mm -hmm. I feel like in high school or uni we used to meet at like parties like home yeah. parties so it's like a friend of a friend of a friend like friends were cool kind of gets bigger and mm -hmm. bigger and I feel like when you work there's also like some kind of after works kind of mm -hmm. things and sometimes like more casually in a bar sometimes people on the street but that's like less common but I feel like this day especially with corona like a lot of people also meet up with dating apps yeah. because it was common also like oh my friend have a cousin from the other side of the country he came to like holidays to the city <laughs> okay let's meet him like this is also <laughs> like oh, the cousin of my friend oh. Oh. Like, dating, like cousin or family <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. interesting. Yeah. In Germany, I would say most relationships start through a common interest. So mm -hmm. usually you're not introduced, except for if I think, oh, this friend and this friend, they share an interest, like they have mm -hmm. so much in common, I think they might get along well, then I might introduce mm -hmm. them. Oh, but it's yes. not common. I would also say it's mm -hmm. more meeting at school, meeting at university, yeah, yeah. meeting mm -hmm. at yeah. pubs, you know, a little bit of alcohol helps mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. each other. Seriously, if you're in Germany and you're looking to date, go to an Irish pub. Irish pub? <laughs> Yeah, Irish people are so like friendly. Papi Landes. Tomen nota. Like I don't know, but I've gotten some life advice from people. I've met great friends. So wow. yeah, the atmosphere is very open. So like it's afraid. Yeah. It's not scary. Like it's why like, do you want this from me? Yeah, I'm like why? It's like phone like, number. It's like I'm I'm giving you my DNA. <laughs> Like, no. yeah, it's like <laughs> if you want something about me, ask me for my Instagram. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, the number is too much. But you know, if they ask you your Instagram, the same things. So yeah, them. yeah. yeah. Okay, so in the UK, Oye, ¿y esto te interesa? Déjame que te presente al patrocinador del vídeo de hoy. Algo que me ha ocurrido cuando he aprendido inglés y polaco es que muchas veces es difícil encontrar hablantes nativos que quieran ayudarte en tu proceso de aprendizaje. Y esta es una de esas cosas que más me gusta de Busu. Y es que Busu te da la oportunidad de conectar con cientos de hablantes de todas las lenguas que te puedas imaginar. Esto es genial para corregir errores cuando estamos en estadios iniciales y que no se nos queden atascados. Y algo que encuentro también muy útil de Buso es que ante un objetivo muy grande, yo quiero hablar inglés ya mismo. Buso te ayuda a trocear todo este conocimiento y repartirlo en pequeñas sesiones, poco a poco, lo que ayuda muchísimo a llegar a tu objetivo final sin frustrarte y lo más importante, sin abandonar. Te traigo muy buenas noticias, en la cajita de información te he dejado unos enlaces de Busu para que puedas empezar ya tu aventura de idiomas de manera totalmente gratuita. Y no solo eso, con estos enlaces podrás probar Busu Premium durante 7 días, te va a encantar. Never just go dive in straight into like the girlfriend boyfriend mm -hmm. thing. Like that's yeah. like way down the line. First, you're gonna go on quite a lot of dates and spend a lot of time together, mm -hmm. probably before you then become boyfriend and girlfriend. Like asking someone out for a date, 
you could be really straightforward about it. You could say like, you know, I think you're really cool and it'd be nice to just spend some more time with you and maybe like, I'd like to get a drink. Or some people maybe kind of try and, you know, pretend it's like not, a, not like a date. Yeah. Just like, you know, I've got this like uh, work, like party thing. Like, do you want to maybe come mm -hmm. and hang out? And maybe meet other friends at the same time. But Love. yeah, normally you just ask them like, say, would you like to get a drink? So I like mm -hmm. to get a drink with you sometimes. Yeah. Normally a drink. There's mm. normally like a mention of alcohol or <laughs> maybe coffee. Rarely <laughs> dinner. <laughs> dinner. If he's oh. like, I like to get, I like to go out for like dinner. With so you. serious. It's very. Yeah. No. yeah. Like in Spain, uh, when you're a little, like, oh, you want to be my girlfriend? Like you do that, like in school. But mm -hmm. like when you are teenager or you grow up, you don't say that. But I like it. I mean, if <laughs> some guy say, hi, you want to be my girlfriend? It's like, oh, really? <laughs> yes, I want. It's like, and sometimes you had like boyfriend before. I was like, hey, where are you going to say it to me? Like even if we don't need to say it because we already know. Mm -hmm. I mean, you feel it when you kiss, when you meet the person and you want to kiss and kiss, or mm -hmm. you say hi and you go and just a kiss in the lips and you know already you are something and you are having a date mm. but sometimes you just want it hey like ask me to date like okay do you want to be my girlfriend okay just let's start <laughs> or also uh, we don't say it usually but we say hey when was the first date that we met sí, okay so this is going to be our date sí. so it's like this is since we start being uh, part so you would count that from like the first date yes kind of like uh -huh. the, the first piece Kind of that. So we just remember this date, and since that time we were couple. In the UK, the dating bit, and then there's like, okay, so are we like, is this? So it's a bit awkward, but then when you just sort of mm. both agree, like, yeah, okay, yeah, we're boyfriend girlfriend. Mm. Then, then that's like the date. And like before, it's like, should we put it on Facebook? <laughs> oh yeah, like in high school or junior high. Yeah. Yeah. Time too. Should like, we? In a yeah. relationship? Yes. With, yeah. In France, actually, I don't know if I can speak for everyone in France. Mm -hmm. So more like my own experience. It's no. like. Like, I never really asked ask someone out. It's more like people asking oh, me out. I don't, I don't, uh, like yeah. I was too shy to ask. <laughs> But I feel like most of the time it was more like since we share some common interests, it's gonna be like, oh, I saw there's this exhibition. Like, do you want to check it out with me? Which is basically mm -hmm. asking for a date without saying mm -hmm. like, let's go on a date. Claro. And same for coffee or restaurant, you don't really say like, let's go on a date. But mm -hmm. we don't really say, hey, do you want to be my girlfriend or boyfriend? <laughs> like, we don't really say this word, which sometimes kind of makes it really hard to know if you're really mm -hmm. in a relationship mm -hmm. or not because you don't really say the words, and we don't really yeah. like the days either yeah. so I feel like people they celebrate like one year but they don't really celebrate like 100 days one month or things like oh, that we don't really Spain do we that. celebrate every month oh. Oh. like some people don't do that mm. but some others they do it's Seriously. already one month two months three months mm. serious question though like if you get together on the 31st January. Okay. What do you do at the end of February? Because the days are just skipping. I don't know. <laughs> In Germany, I would also say people usually don't ask you out on a date. Mm. They say, oh, mm -hmm. let's do something together. Mm. Let's have a drink together, together or something like that. And then also there are a lot of those days, a lot of spending time together before you decide if you really want to be in a committed relationship. But I know that a lot of my friends, for example, have trouble with that. Like nobody mm -hmm. really asks, are we girlfriend or boyfriend? Yeah. But they don't like it. Like they're like, oh, I don't know if he's yeah. really my boyfriend. I don't know if he's really my girlfriend. So mm. I don't know why people so are much. more straightforward <laughs> yeah. if they have such yes. trouble with it. But mm -hmm. yeah, definitely you try to really get a feel for the person like what mm -hmm. kind of person are they are we really compatible before you decide to date like for real yeah mm -hmm. so in the Ooh, UK, you're, you're... i can't say like there's a rule <laughs> mm -hmm. there's no rule it does depend on the person mm -hmm. probably if i had to generalize i'd probably say a lot of people would quite like it. if they like if they think the date's going well they might want to have a kiss on the first date mm -hmm. i think quite a lot of people definitely by the second date I think the majority, but I'm not, I don't want to say for everyone. And then, but I really, I mean, it can depend, but like some yeah, people, it's hard. people sleep together on the first day, yeah. especially mm -hmm. if they've been drinking, you know? Uh, <laughs> in Spain, I think it's almost like the same thing. You can, you will not start the relationship if you didn't kiss or touch mm -hmm. or have a really deep conversation or get to know the person like in any kind of style and also like having sex with this person. Like there should be people mm -hmm. like that, but usually you don't have a relationship if there is no peace mm -hmm. or if there is no passion on it. And if you don't feel like desire with this person, yeah. you just don't start a relationship. And I think mm -hmm. it's best in Spain because the first day they can already kiss and as well they can have 
night together. It's the, the first date, so I think it's common. And I think in France it's really person to person, like the, the case mm -hmm. are really different, so it's really hard to just say one. But I feel like if the relationship started as like you were already friends, there was a lot of chance, there was already a lot of skinship, like you know, grabbing like mm -hmm. that, or like so holding hands or things like that. But maybe I'm old school, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I wouldn't like kiss or like grab hands on the first date if I really like the person. Mm -hmm. For example, if it's a guy I like on the first date, I would grab his arm like when we are walking, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't really mm -hmm. grab his like hands until I know he's really interested in me. But I know some people, mm -hmm. they also like sleep on the first date, like it really depends. But I also feel like sometimes in France, there's this kind of unspoken rule that like you mm -hmm. try to not sleep before like the third date or something so you don't like look too easy but I feel like it's really from person to person mm -hmm. like it really depends in Germany too like everything can happen on the first date like it's, nothing is like off the table but I would say a bit more like generally oh, most people would end the first date with a hug or maybe a kiss on the cheek or like yeah. a little bit lighter Aww. and definitely it's so important to look at how the other person is reacting so if you both have great energy, like great mm -hmm. chemistry with each other and yeah. you kind of like when you're talking, touching a little mm -hmm. bit and stuff like that, then it might go even further. But I remember like a date I had and it was like I was not feeling it really and I never even held hands with the guy or touched or anything like that. I just kept my distance. And at the very end of the date, he grabbed me and gave me a kiss on the mouth. Oh my and I was wow. like, what the hell? And oh. I, of course, I, I was shocked in the moment, but when I got home, I wrote to him that was really uncool. I did not like that at all. So just delete my number. But yeah, Next. So, yeah, so definitely. It's, I Déjame en comentarios qué te parece a ti lo que ellos han dicho. ¿Estás de acuerdo con la versión de la española? ¿Tú lo haces de otra manera? ¿Has tenido experiencia con gente de Inglaterra, de Alemania, de Francia y ha sido diferente a lo que ellos han contado? La verdad es que me fascina y me encanta porque es un tema que dependiendo del país es un poquito más tabú, un poquito diferente, ¿no? Dependiendo de cada cultura. Obviamente todo esto son generalizaciones. Hay españoles de una manera y de otra, franceses de una manera y de otra. Lo mismo con alemanes, con ingleses y con gente de todas las naciones de todo el mundo. Vamos con el segundo donde comparamos a Corea del Sur con España. Hola. Tony. Yo soy Claudia. Spain es un poco más de lo que es. Spain es un poco más de lo que es. 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 이 이유가 같이 살다 보면은 또 보이는 게 따로 있고 연애와는 다른 또 다른 감정을 느껴볼 수 있어서 그 전에 한번 동거해 보는 거 저는 왜요? 오케이 괜찮은 것 같아. 근데 이것도 서로 간에 부모님들의 허락이 필요하겠지만 그것만 다 이루어진다면은 저는 좋아요. 맞아 맞아. 근데 그게 그 이유가 예전 같은 경우에는 관계는 결혼하고 해야 된다는 강박관념이 있어가지고 그랬었는데 요즘에는 사실 그게 많이 없어져가지고 그것도 되게 중요한 이제 결혼 포인트 중 하나다 라고 보시는 분도 많아서 저도 그거에 대한 동의를 하는 바여서 결혼 전에 동거하는 거 괜찮은 것 같아요 아, I think so too? <웃음> I think so too? <웃음> 스페인 쪽에서는 대부분 다 동거를 하고 결혼하나요? I think like in Spain most of the couples these days mm -hmm. they live together before marriage mm -hmm. always. Ah. Yes, because like you don't know you have to know the person. Exactly. You have to know like if they like to clean, if they like to cook mm -hmm. or if they have a lot of anger. You just check the person that you're living with and then you decide mm -hmm. later. But it's so usual like To live together in a little apartment and get to know each other. Oh. So normal. 대부분 다 그렇게 한다는 거 아니에요? 여기는 정말로. 근데 이게 맞는 거 같아요, 저도. It's important also because if you don't know the person you're living with, you will get divorced. 맞아. 정말 so, 중요해. So, so. Very important 하는 부분이에요, 정말. <웃음> <웃음> 일주일에 관계는 몇번 하는 게 적당하다 생각해요. 아, 세마나. 근데 이거는 궁금한 거는 10대, 20대를 좀 나누셔야 될거 같아. So I think teenager. <웃음> Every day. <웃음> Uh, every day, <laughs> four or five times a day. It also depends, mm -hmm. but yes, it can be every day, two to four times mm -hmm. a day, depending on the fire inside. But when you get adult, I didn't know that, but I realize now that I'm adult, so not that much. Not that much. Maybe. Maybe in a week, 
One time. A long time. Oh, good job. I mean, it's so sad, but sometimes <laughs> when you get adult, the person is different mm -hmm. from you. Ah. So they don't want. Uh. So it's like even if you want, you uh. cannot. Ah. But when you are teenager, he want, she want. Wow. Always. Yeah. Many times. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And in Korea. Korea 같은 경우에는 10대는 없어요. Mm. Teenage 때는 거의 안 하고 한 20대부터 거의 하기 시작하는데 mm -hmm. 딱 스무 살. 진짜 일주일에 한네번 다섯 번씩 하는 것 같아요. <웃음> 똑같이 fire fire 뭐 이렇게 되기 때문에 많이 하는데 근데 fire fire no man oye si te está gustando el video ya sabes lo que tienes que hacer suscríbete que es completamente gratis man 거의 불 born born 남자 거의 그냥 타올라요 그렇기 때문에 계속 하려고 해 20대가 넘어가다 보면은 일주일에 한두번한번 mm -hmm. 이렇게 되는 것 같은데. 그리고 이게 또 차이가 있는 게 연애를 얼마나 했냐 그러니까 연애 기간 연애한 지 얼마 초반때는 굉장히 많이 해요 제가 알기로 점점 이제 연애 기간이 한 1년 2년 지나가면 은제 친구들이 한한 한 달에 한 번씩 한 번씩 한 번씩 Korean start to having sex at 20? 어 대부분 유저하고 아하 uh -huh. 거의 그 정도에 딱 시작을 하죠 그 이유가 그렇게 할수 있는 공간이 없어요 스페인처럼 어 토요일에 뭐 포레스트 노 그렇게 하지 않기 때문에 And there is camera 아 그런 건 문제가 아니고 그냥 한국에서는 방에서 하려고 하는 게 많아서 대부분 다 시작을 이제 스무 살때 하는 경우가 많죠. Do you talk about sex with your parents? 아 아니요. No. 전혀. 부모님이 뭐 연애 여자친구가 있으면 한다는 걸 아실 건 같은데 그거에 대해서 얘기해 본적한 번도 없어요. 이런 거 얘기하는 집안이 근데 한열 가구 중에 한 두세 가구 정도밖에 안 되는 것 같아요. 그렇다 막 숨기는 건 아닌데 부모님께서 그냥 조심해. 이런 거네 그냥 뭐 careful, be careful 막 이런 거 하고 그냥 뭐 잘해, 잘 아껴줘 이렇게는 말하시는데 막 진짜 막 이런 섹스에 관해서 막 얘기를 막 주고받진 않는 거 같아요 한국에서. So with who do you talk if there is a question with friends? 일단 첫 번째 first friend 친구한테 물어보고 두 번째는 이제 그 찾아보는 거죠. <웃음> search, search 해가지고 이제 알아보고 그 그리고 이제 영상으로 대충. 접근을 하다 보니까 어더 비디오를 약간 좀 mm -hmm. 보고 그 감각만 아는 것 같아요. Mm -hmm. 어, 그렇게 시작하는 것 같아요. Korea is like kind of taboo, mm -hmm. but in Spain or Europe you can just talk. But the thing is, if you want or not mm -hmm. to talk about it. 길에서 한걸 본적 있어요? You can just walk on the street and find a couple <웃음> hugging so much and kissing like crazy, uh -huh. or sitting in a bed and kissing and kissing. <웃음> Like I had an experience. Mm -hmm. I went with my friends down the bridge at mm -hmm. night. So I was crossing the bridge mm -hmm. and I found a couple like having sex. <laughs> they, yes. So it was like just running and go out. But usually you can find these things. So you can just do whatever you want and nobody will notice. Mm -hmm. oh. bueno. You can see kids, se dará cuenta, pero no lo dice. like touch S. Uh -huh. oh. Here in Korea, no. So mm -hmm. it was shocking for me. Ah, 약간 really 그렇지. 저희 한국에서는 길에서 사실 키스하는 것도 보기 좀 힘들잖아요, 사실. 왜냐면 하다가 하나 오면 떼거든요. 침침한 거 어두 침침한 거서 키스를 하는 분도 계시는데 그것도 길에서 하는 것도 아니고 정말 인적이 드문 곳에서 막 하고 그러니까 여기 그냥 시원시원하네. 그러니까 이게 내가 옆에 있고 옆에 앉아 있는데도 키스하고 있는다는 거 아니에요. Man is sitting and the woman. 키스하고 있는데 걸어오면서 이렇게 하는 거? 그러니까 그 그런 느낌인 거 아니에요? 와우, amazing. When when I see in Korea like teenager kissing. Or hugging, mm. I feel oh, that's so beautiful. I'm so happy. <laughs> they hugging, they kiss. I thought oh, they uh, are, they have fire. Oh, yes. 얘네 그렇게 불타오르는 저거밖에 못하니까 mm. oh, 귀엽다 이거. Oh, oh, 진짜 대박. 에스페라 에스페라, porque si este video te ha gustado, este te va a dejar sin palabras y este te va a encantar.